Hello everyone, today we're gonna go over some troubleshooting with Disco Diffusion. I know that uh, some of you have been having trouble with errors that pop up and although I can't guarantee that I will have the answers to every error, I will show you things that have helped me out because this has happened uh, pretty often to me and sometimes it's something very minor, sometimes it's just one of the settings or sometimes you just forget to even upload the video that you're trying to generate the AI with. And so I'm gonna go over some things that will help you hopefully uh, to figure out what is going on with your session. The first thing that I would recommend is just start all over again. So I would Google, just like I did when I taught you the first video, I would Google the Disco Diffusion, the original Disco Diffusion collaboration and then save it, save a copy into your drive again. And then let's start start from scratch. And the reason you should do this is to see if there's anything wrong with your video because if you just press play in all of these and then you're still having errors, then it could possibly be your video. So go to the original Disco Diffusion again and save it to your drive then start all over, start with setup, but this time don't change anything. Keep everything at default settings. You go down here, you change the name. Don't change anything here except the width and the height of your video and make sure this animation is in video. Everything else, just keep it the same and just and just run it, you know, run setup, run it, ru always run it in order. Sometimes also is that when you make changes and then you don't, you forget to save things in order, like that can cause an error as well. You might have to go back up if you made changes to, for example, the clips. Um, you made a change here and then you made a change down here in the settings and then you only pressed this button uh, on settings but didn't go back and press it on the diffusion the clip, then you might have an error because of that. Um, also, don't run too many of these clips because then that's why you get errors as well. Try not to run like so many, try to go with low. Uh, try to go with the default to start off with. Yeah, so also when it comes to the dimensions of the video, if you go here to the cheat sheet and you go to width and height, it tells you here that you should keep it in multiples of 60, uh, 64 and, and a minimum of 512 on the default clip model settings. Uh, if you forget to use multiples of, of 64, pixels and your dimensions, DD will adjust the dimensions of your image to make it so. So uh, it seems to adjust it, but I know that sometimes when I didn't have the right uh, dimensions or I made it too big or I made some weird uh, dimensions that uh, are not very common, then it's, it, I got some errors because of that. So make sure that, uh, start off with some, if you can start off with uh, 540 by 540 or 500 by 500, and run it and see if that works. Uh, but your file, your video file has to match that as well if you want it to like look good um, and fit within those dimensions. And so, yeah, so I would run this all over. And, and if you come down here and you left everything on default and you press to run it and you're still running into errors, then it could be um, that you're, something's wrong with your video, um, there's issues with it, maybe the file format. I know that some people have been telling me like that it's, that there's issues with them rotoscoping um, their video and making it a transparent file. It might be that you don't need it to be transparent as long as you have the background taken off. And the reason I rotoscope, and I'm gonna show you right here because I know that some people have had some questions about this. The reason I rotoscope um, is because to me, it just gives me a cleaner image uh, at the end. Um, if you notice right here, like right here, you see a little bit of bleeding out right here outside of, of, of what was originally rotoscoped out. But the reason I like to rotoscope is because then I have this right here. I rotoscope this out and then I can use this rotoscope to transparent with a transparent background. I can use that as an alpha mat 
for the disco for the AI version that I generated. And then I just go here, alpha mat, bam. Then you don't have the black background and you don't, all this little thing that was bleeding out is not there anymore. And then you generate the background as well. And then it's separate from the background. It doesn't, it doesn't all mesh together with each other. And it doesn't like, it looks to me, it looks a lot cleaner. So that's the reason why I do the, the, the rotoscoping. If you, you can try using a uh, one that's not, doesn't have a transparent background, but you take away the background, like you do take away the background and it's just like a back background, then you can try that and see if that works better for you. Um, you don't have to necessarily do it like I do it. This is just the way I, I've done it and it works great with me. Yeah, so definitely try whatever works for you. Uh, also, if it starts to go crazy and go beyond your subject that you had rotoscope, that's that's basically your settings. You, you're, there's something in your settings that you did that just made it go wild and crazy. Um, it's mainly right here, probably. It's in coherent settings. You might have to adjust this. Um, you might have to go higher. If you go lower, it, uh, I think it's when it starts to go crazy. I think you may have to go higher and then bring this uh, up higher as well. You also have to be careful with your clip guidance scale, like to, to not not push it too hard. And, um, and also your batches as well. Th these are the main things that you have to watch out for when it comes to you know, your image, trying to keep it as clean as possible. If you are having uh, other errors, I would recommend uh, like I said, go from start from the default and then start making changes from the default. Like make one change, and if and if everything runs smoothly, then then you can see what the result is, and then also then make another change after that and see what that gives you. And at some point, you make a change. Don't make a bunch of changes because and then and then run it, and then and then if you get an error, you don't know what what caused that error. Uh, sometimes it gives you in the description what. What the what it is about like when it says error it gives you like a like a little bit of a description of why it has that error sometimes it's, it's pretty obvious sometimes it's not as obvious so you have to f try to figure it out but i would recommend making changes and then running it make one change run it make another change run it and then it's when you finally get an error you know why the error happened and and you know it's because that one setting that you changed so that's how i would do it and that's what i recommend for you guys um Hopefully this was helpful uh, and I, I'm sorry if I couldn't give like very specific uh, things because for me it's always been, hey, there's a setting that I that I messed up or something. Um, also, it could also be if you come to your drive, uh, one time I was having errors because I was messing with different versions of this uh, Disco Diffusion. And so I, I had, as soon as I deleted the AI on my drive, it's where everything is stored. It's, uh, it, I deleted it and then I ran uh, Disco Diffusion again from the start. It created a new folder and all of a sudden the errors just stopped. So uh, that can be another potential problem, but that's that would only happen when I was working with different versions of Disco Diffusion. So maybe that's not something that you're facing. If you tried everything and you know try that, maybe that works. So yeah, so that's my advice on uh, trying to figure out you know what, why those errors are popping up. And so I hope that this was helpful and yeah, so I'm going to be making more videos and maybe even giving, uh, digging deeper into this. And also maybe if I learn new, new things, new settings that I, that have been working great for me, I'll definitely make videos on that because like I said, in my previous video in part two, uh, I'm learning and uh, I don't know everything, but I, I'm, I'm trying to learn as much as I can. So hopefully this is helpful for you guys and that you guys are learning a lot just as much as I am. So yeah, and also share your stuff, man. Like I like on my social media or uh, send me links and stuff because I love seeing what people create. So yeah, all right guys, peace.